train derails in Mexico. 1,300 migrants headed towards U.S. on one train alone. Photos, Obama laughs his way through border meeting. Perry, I don't know if he heard me. Houston black woman goes on epic rant about illegals. We have that video coming up. It's an awesome video. I want to play that after calls. Video, African Americans confront immigrant supporters. Amnesty disaster for black workers. It's a disaster for Hispanic workers as well, except when you get a Spanish-speaking assembly line or restaurant or meatpacking, when you go, it's, it's on record. I mean, it's taught in colleges now. It's been going on so long. Meatpacking, restaurants, you name it. If you don't speak Spanish, you can't work there. Well, who does that hit? It hits poor whites and poor blacks. And that's just the way it is, folks. So get used to it. And again, once America collapses, it's not going to help Central and South America that is in collapse right now. Now, I noticed this this morning, and Kurt Nemo has documented it now at Infowars.com. We put the petition up at about 2 o'clock yesterday at the end of the show to have the illegals, and of course it's a joke petition to point out what a fraud this is, to Democratic Party leaders' houses, the White House in D.C., have the Democratic Party with their billions of uh, campaign contributions to pay for it. And we've had petitions that have gotten, again, a half million signatures to become national news that the White House has been forced to respond to. We've had a bunch of them. We hadn't done one in a while. I get up this morning about 6.37, I go in, there's one signatory, Alex Jones, when I set up the petition. Biggs did one kind of like it, but I wanted to expand on it, so I did one with Kurt yesterday, and he wrote an article about it. And I thought, man, I've never seen that happen before. I usually get signups immediately. It wasn't until about an hour ago that they took the block off. So Alex Jones' petition languages on White House website inoperable for more than 12 hours. That's a great headline, Kirby. You might just say, White House blocks illegal alien petition or something. Because, I mean, that's what they did. And, and see, they know. They have algorithms. If they block something right when it goes up, right when it goes on Facebook and Twitter, then people give up and leave. So even if they game this, we have to prove it's totally gamed with the petitions. This is just where they act like they're listening to you. It has no effect anyways, except it publicly is a bully pulpit. Go to Infowars.com. Go into the petition and sign it. Go into it and sign the petition that, that now has 496 signatures. Does anyone believe that? Does anyone believe that? So Infowars.com, help us test this out. Now, before I go to your calls, uh, I want to mention a few of the other headlines that are on the homepage of PrisonPlanet.com and Infowars.com. Ted Cruz, Democrats vote to ban books, repeal First Amendment. That's what they're currently doing. Uh, we've got British politicians in secret deal to allow mass public surveillance. Yeah, that's just like they're putting microphones up in public everywhere. They've been doing it for a long time, but now they're just announcing it to the slaves. Do I get any apologies now that everything I said has come true? It didn't come true. It was already there. Don't people understand that? Uh, again, a very important video I shot yesterday paralleling Obama to Nixon and the need for impeachment. Obama must fall. I put out my case that the Republicans need to be scared as well. The system needs to be put in check. Well, if we just let him be a big criminal, that'll make the Democrats unpopular. No, it won't. He'll ship 20 million illegal kids in who are 15 years old. They'll be voting. With fake IDs, it's game over. Game over, man. That's what we're coming down to here. And, and again, I warned you about Obamacare and the giant screw job that it is. But people don't listen. They're like, shut up, crackerhead. You just don't want people getting some free health care, you racist, lazy cracker butt. I'm going to get me some free health care. And, yeah, they just water down Medicare, Medicaid that was already there. Down to almost nothing. Do we have the clip of Obama where he said that uh, he's intimately aware of everything going on on the border? And that's actually true. He's the one that basically ordered the whole thing open. Let's go to that clip. You know, Jay Johnson has now visited at my direction the border five times. He's going for a sixth uh, this week. To help order the stand down. He then comes <laughs> back and reports to me extensively uh -huh. on everything that's taking place. 
uh, J. So there's nothing that is taking place down there that I am not intimately aware of and briefed on. Um, By the way, stop right there. This isn't. When he goes places, he changes his accent slightly, and that's NLP type weird mumbo jumbo. I don't think it's even real at that point. That's like Hillary when she goes to Kentucky goes, How y'all doing down there? Good to see you today. And then when she, literally, we can play the clip. Then when she goes to New York, she's like, How you doing down here? It's good to see you. I, I talk like uh, Bugs Bunny meets the mafia. <laughs> We're doing real well. Hey, 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 Luigi over here. We're going, eh? I mean, that's how fake it all is. He, he might be an android. In fact, I think he probably is actually a robot, and his wife is actually the merman from He-Man. I think it's official. I'm being sarcastic, ladies and gentlemen. Even though she didn't have to put on a Halloween costume, she is the merman. <laughs> I wonder if she wears 6X underwear. 43,000 pairs of 6X underwear. That's how many illegals are going to ship in. They think they're going to have tens of thousands of people that you have to special order underwear for. <laughs> it's probably why the train derailed. They put too many. I'm sorry. Folks, here's the deal. Latin America is collapsing, and I'm just laughing because all you idiot yuppies who can't get a job with all your fake, uh, you know, garbage $300,000, $200,000 degrees that have been a fraud for 20 years, all you were taught in college was how to be brainwashed and be a liberal, trendy, mindless fascist who goes around henpecking everyone. You're a joke. You're a fraud. You're a failure. You're an idiot. And only admitting that can turn this around. And we don't have long, dumb butt. Okay? I'm talking to all of you out there that think you've arrived because you're part of a surly, peer pressure gang mentality of snot-nosed behavior. You people are jokes. You've been promised you'll be the head of the new political class. You're going to be nothing. Anyways. I'm going to go back to your calls here. And just, I I've never have gone to the calls. We're going to go to your calls here in just a moment, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not going to be depressed about this. Okay, I'm going to, I tried to put the fire out as Rome burned, but if everybody wants to dance around and have fun, uh, then more power to you. But when this sucker goes belly up and you've got 101 million people that are on welfare, 70 plus million that would starve to death in a matter of weeks without it. Game over, man. It's game over. Game over. It is serious game over. Can we just loop that for everybody? Just just loop it, please. See, it, it, it's game over. We can't even play game over here now, ladies and gentlemen. We have to set up the loop. I don't even care if it's a loop. Just, just hit it over and over again. I need to hear game over, game over, game over. In fact, that can be the new American flag. Game over. And just everyone's an idiot but thinks they're a winner. Game over, man. It's game over. Exactly. Game over, man. It's game over. <laughs> ah, I love it. All you fake government people think you're invincible. You're nothing but a bunch of delusional narcissists imagining what big, powerful winners you are when you're incredible failures and you know deep down you're cowardly scum and everything you've got is going to be sucked out of you by the criminal operation so you cower and fear to it. All right, briefly uh, here, ladies and gentlemen, I think I'm going to double down today with even more iodine. Now, I suggest you consult with your physician uh, before you take the uh, recommended daily allowance of the Survival Shield um, X2. We still sell the original, very powerful, pure iodine, purest out there until X2 came out from the deep earth crystals. Nobody else has this. All the other stuff's from Seaweed Base. And you can go see the videos at InfoWarsLife.com. And your support of the transmission funds uh, this entire operation. Super Mel Vitality is turning this job of the hut creature uh, into uh, a little closer to what I used to look like. And it's really helping me out a lot and just amazing. And Dr. Group is really cool doing this formulation for us, and it funds the operation. So uh, if you don't want to run the white flag up, you might want to actually... Support us and buy some of the great products, but also get some really great products for yourself. So take the challenge. Get the Super Melvin.